Good day everyone! So today, mag-aaral tayo kung paano gamitin yung function na mail links or yung mail merge dun sa Microsoft Word to accomplish some forms for individual students. Last time, ginamit na natin ito sa pag-accomplish ng SF9 o yung uh, student report cards. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung video na yon, I will link it down below and after this um, video, ay makikita nyo din dun sa screen, ilalagay ko din. Okay, so anong um, gagawin nating form ngayon? Ang gagawin nating form ngayon ay yung Homeroom Guidance Development Assessment uh, of Learners. Every single day Alright, so let's start with our um, Excel form. So, kailangan meron tayo nung surname, first name, tsaka middle name ng mga bata. So, ito yung dating ginamit ko dun sa, nung ginawa ko yung mga cards. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, again, yung video na yun, nakalink yun dun, dun sa um, description box below. Alright, okay. Ngayon, pupunta na tayo sa ating um, form. Homeroom Guidance Learners Development Assessment. Okay, so kung mapapansin ninyo, ito ay um, standard na yan. So, Annex C nakalagay. Tapos, Homeroom Guidance Learners Development Assessment Report. And then, yung school year. So, ang kailangan nating lagyan is yung name of learner, grade and section, and then yung name of section advisor. And then, yung mga competency ng first quarter. Ako, nilagyan ko na yung competency ng first quarter, tapos individually, mamaya, per learner, saka ko lang babaguhin. So, since ako ay isang section advisor, ilalagay ko lang dito, of course, yung section na hawak ko, which is 9C Press. This is just for... Um, ayan. Okay, so, si press this is for um, demonstration purposes only. And then, name of advisor, of course, yung name ninyo. Okay, so, ang kailangan natin per ay yung babaguhin natin per students, di ba? Okay, so, ang gagawin natin is lalagyan natin dito ng surname, naka-underline, tsaka naka-bold, first name, First, and then yung uh, middle. Alright. Okay. So, let's see. Unang-unang natin gagawin is dito sa mailings, i-click natin yung mailings, and then we select recipients. And then, use an existing list. Okay, sa so existing list, um, dito tayo sa Cipres, gagamitin natin yung Cipres cards na ginamit natin last time. Do may mga, um, kung makikita natin ito, yung Cypress cards. Okay. Teka lang, bubuksan ko. Oops, hindi pala yun. Sorry. Okay, so bubuksan ko yung Cypress cards. Makikita ninyo na nandirito yung kanilang mga names. Tsaka yung grades. So, ang kailangan ko lang naman is yung um, names nila. Alright. Okay. Okay. So, next is ito ng mailings. So, again, nilagay ko na yung existing list. Okay. So, gagamitin natin, katulad nung video ko last time, yung insert merge field. Okay, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yon, I will link the video down below. So, um, highlight ko tong surname. So, click ko yung mailings and then insert merge field, surname. And then highlight ko tong first name. 
mailings, insert merge field, and then first. And then highlight itong middle, mailings, insert merge field, and then middle. Tapos, gagawa din ako ng title. So, dito sa taas, isusulat ko, title. Title. Oops, masyadong maliit. So, view natin ng mas malaki. Okay, so dito, lalagay ako, title. Okay. So, katulad nun, ang gusto ko, title ng bawat, um, bawat individual na, um, na report would be yung apelido ng students. So, in, um, insert merge fields ulit and then surname. Okay. So, enter. Ayusin ko lang yung format. Okay. So, ito ay enter natin. Home. Tapos, lalagay natin sa gilid. Now, since naka-highlight na siya, gagawin ko siyang headings. This is an important step. Um, kasi mamaya, yung headings ang magiging basis natin kapag ka nag-save individually. So, headings 1. Alright. Okay. Pagkatapos ng nating magawa yun, pwede natin tuluitan kung anong gusto natin gawin na font size. Alright. Okay. So, ayan na. Pindutin natin ulit yung mailings and then we say finish and merge and edit individual documents. All. Okay. So, yan na. Lumabas na yung mga um, pangalan ng mga students natin. Okay. So, ako si, tapos si Bay Betty Me. Okay. Hanggang sa dulo. Na, which is Mara Mark May. Ayan o. Tapos ito din yung nandirito. Alright. Now, individually, pwede mo nang baguhin. Halimbawa, ito, kay Mara Mark, gawin natin tong dito yung markings niya. Tapos tanggalin natin dito. And then, individually, pwede na natin um, ma-grade na ng bawat isang students. Alright. So, after we do that, ang gagawin natin ngayon is, i-click natin yung view. And then, pag-click natin yung view, i-click natin yung outline. And then, we select all. Okay, para hindi natin i-highlight pa lahat, we can um, click on control and then A. After that, we click on show document and create. And then close uh, outline view and then we save. Ah, wait lang. Cancel muna. Okay, sige, save. Save muna natin, save muna natin. Sa CPS. Okay. So again, ano yung ginawa natin? View. Outline. Okay, so yan. Close outline view and then we save. Tingnan natin kung nandun na. Alright, so ito na siya. Okay, sa ako, si, ayan na. So, individually, na-save na natin yung mga students. Ayan o, no? yung mga cards ng students. Alright, so that's it. Okay. Now, paano naman kung gagawin natin siya individually? na um, individually na um, PDF. So, ang gagawin ko lang, file, save as. Okay? Dito sa drop down nung nasa ilalim nung file name niya, gawin natin PDF 
and then save. Pagka nakita natin siya sa folder, ayan na siya, naka-PDF na. F. And you can create also folder for each um, file separately na nandun yung word sa isang folder, tapos yung isang folder naman ay merong um, PDF. Okay, so that's all. Um, please... Again, like and subscribe to this channel and then if you want to check on my other videos, uh, mag, mag uh, appear lang siya somewhere in the screen. Alright? Goodbye!